Hello folks, I'm Alistair and today I'm in West London on a bit of a rainy day and I'm here to meet one of our amazing Eyes On Hands On volunteers, Sue. Now Sue, she's a very experienced Eyes On Hands On volunteer. I've always been curious as to what goes on on a typical outing for an Eyes On Hands On volunteer and today I'm going to find out. So I brought the camera along and you can find out too. Maybe once a month I might come out just to have a check. So we do a bit of weeding, a bit of cleaning. I've always known about the Commonwealth War Graves Commission because um, with my great granddad was lost in the First World War in 1917, the Battle of Cambrai. We actually went to Cambrai and we were there for like the 100th anniversary of my great granddad going missing. Um, so you could see all like the um, plots, how well they were looked after in France. So I really got interested that way as well. So I might do one section at a time. Yeah, and just check. They might not all need cleaning every time. Mostly during the winter, they do get a lot greener because of the weather. So it's just a brush. So we just use water, just so that um, you don't damage the headstone. And just see like, if it's still straight, if it's um, sort of wobbly or anything. So yeah, it doesn't take too long. It depends on how dirty they are. Private memorials, it was basically the family's decision at the time to have a private memorial or a commission stone. We don't really do much with a private memorial, we just keep an eye on it. I need a little bit of weeding or a little bit of tidying up. So my, my nan's story, like she was five when her dad went off to war and he never came back. So you can sort of relate to it that way. In some ways you sort of want to tell people about it, like a local community. It's just to read all their stories and it's quite moving really. Oh, I I can't see myself stuff in, I've got no reason, you know, just carry on whilst I'm able to. Just so that it gets remembered why these graves are here, like what they did for their country. It just needs to be remembered and, um, yeah, not forgotten about really. Keep the stories alive. That was very interesting. It was nice to meet Sue, find out what she does. I now know what the eyes on and the hands on parts of eyes on hands on stand for, the inspecting and then the cleaning. It was also nice to learn why Sue does what she does. It was incredible to hear a story about her grandfather and how the commission cared for his grave in Cambrai and her memory of going out and seeing that and that this sort of ties into how she feels about giving back. For anyone that would like to volunteer for the eyes on hands on program, there are links in the description. Um, truly incredible story uh, and an incredible lady.